Oh, hello. Uh, we're gonna do something different tonight. On Mondays, we usually do family home evenings and we usually go with our kids and stuff, but we're just gonna have a, a little family home evening with ourselves and play a game. Tell we usually, family, home family home evening, it's an evening with your family. Usually on Monday nights, the church reserves that for Monday nights and uh, and just uh, either have a lesson or go out and Talking go bowling about, or talk about. Well, the, what you're missing is you talk about ways to improve your life. Ways to improve your life, yeah. Okay. But we're going to play a game called Never Have I Ever. So we're going to uh, see how that goes tonight. How about we call it I Have or I Never Have. Okay. <laughs> Never Have I Ever. <laughs> So I think that'll be a lot of fun. Okay, so I've I've got some questions well, in here, and we're gonna. Well, are you can do it too. Uh huh. With the same card. Uh huh. I got my card here. Okay. Okay. Never have I ever, and uh, we just say, I have. So do you want to give? Or I never have. When you have. finish it, do you want to give it to me? And I'll just put it here. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. So you pick one out, then I'll pick one out. I'm picking it for you. Mm -hmm. Well, for both of us, we both ask, oh, okay. answer the question. You read it. Played matchmaker. I have. have you ever, what is it again? Have you ever matched? Is it a board game? Have you ever matched somebody up? Oh, like that. You okay. answer the question. Okay, so the question is, have you ever played matchmaker? No, never. You hold your sign up. <laughs> and I have. I matched up two of my brothers, and they're actually married today. I told him, I said, oh, this girl, there's a girl I want you to meet. And I sh pointed to her, and she was sitting in the front row at church. And she had barrettes in his hair, and he said, oh, I don't like barrettes. So I had to match him up again a couple months later, and they finally got married, like a month later. <laughs> Other brother, uh, it took four years okay, well, for now, them to get matched. We got a lot of these, so. Well, we'll just go, we'll just answer a few at a time. Okay. okay. Had a fake ID. Have you ever had a fake ID? Ooh, t that tell the truth? Mm-hmm. Well, your sign up. In a way. Put it where they can see it. Oh, you have. You've had a fake license. Let's hear it. Not a license. She said ID. ID. Okay. Well, it was a train pass, and I had one more day on the train. It was a three-month tra train pass in Europe. Oh. Riding around, and I was in Stockholm, and I had to get to Paris. <laughs> and so I wanted to change the expiration date. But then I thought of him catching me on a train in Germany and all of a sudden maybe calling the police or something and then I uh -oh. changed it. Then I didn't do it. Ooh. I, it wasn't because I was scared of right and wrong. I was afraid of being put in jail. Because they, <laughs> That's ran, usually what? they randomly check the tickets and the tickets are like a kind of expensive. It would have cost couple hundred dollars to write down there. The well, that's usually what makes somebody be good is they don't want to be caught. Okay, where's your... It's usually not because they Did want to be righteous. No, I took it up. Oh, it whatever. What is it? I don't want to even do this one. War, warn someone else's <laughs> underwear. Oh, uh, sometimes no, you have no, to. No, if, no, oh, no. wait, you got to say. Well, we don't need an explanation for everyone. I have. <laughs> no, girls, I understand. Guys, Yeah, no. guys, they don't okay, go down go. there. There's okay, more, next one. If we do a okay. story, we'll never get there. Oh, we'll do a story. Okay. Peed in bed since you've been grown up. <laughs> I can't even I used to when I was little. Oh, wait. That was anything you using this. I forgot, yeah. And you don't have to justify yourself. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so. I can't it, remember we'll ever just, doing it when I was little. Oh, I remember doing up. it when I was little. Well, I lived. In, I slept in a cold room, and we had the outhouse, and I didn't want to go out. Okay, there. no excuses. Okay, accidentally sent an inappropriate text message <laughs> to my mom that was intended for my girlfriend or boyfriend. <laughs> Boy, this this is for people who grew up yeah. with text messages. I have not to my mom, but to my kids. Accidentally, you know how the spell it just spells it for you when it thinks that you misspelled something. What about you? Have you ever? No. Then do never. You gotta hold the sign up. You gotta obey the rules. You got it upside down. I know. Do you think that's funny? <laughs> okay, your turn to draw. Kissed on the first date. <sighs> Have well, I ever hold up your sign? Yes. Got yes. <laughs> that's usually the boys' move, not the girls. 
Well, so, there can be a courteous one. You want to see your face? Oh. There we go. There can be a courteous, courteous one like... Courteous kiss. So, thank you. Did it say on the lips? Or the cheek? It didn't. It just said, have you ever kissed on your first date? Well, I do a courteous one for thank me. Thank you. Mm. I had a good time, but I don't plan on well, that's coming a peck. back. No. Well, you, you gave me a kiss on our first date, and you said that's in case your dad asks. Go next one. Next. And my dad did ask. Forgotten a loved one's birthday. Yeah. 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 Oh, yes. Yeah. That's easy to do. Yeah, yeah. That's man. why we have our calendars right here. And, uh, oh, Julianne, she got so sad one day. She said, you haven't even called me and sang happy birthday. I said, I still got five minutes before it's midnight. <laughs> so I heard you sing her happy birthday. You know, and you wish them happy birthday on there on Facebook. Okay. What's that one say? Not left a tip for a waitress. Mm, I have. I'm going to say I have. Like but if you haven't it depends on if you have any money. <laughs> no, it depends more if you haven't seen them the whole night. Yeah, if they're a bad waitress. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes I just don't have any money, so I have. Okay. okay. Oh, no, we spilled our list. Wait one minute. I spilled it. Thanks, Uncle awesome. Sam. Oh. Thanks for oh. saying we spilled we, it. Yeah, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. And now, let me tell you. Now they're going to be mixed up really well. I'm going to tell you a joke. Okay, joke. I can't remember. Okay, let's oh, go. Oh, how long did you think I was going to be down there? <laughs> okay. Okay. Bought something special to wear one time, then return it when I was done with it. Oh, yes. I have. Never. You never? The, I think girls do that. No, but the reason is, is I would rather not spend the time taking it back to the store. Yeah. Yeah. No, and uh, my Julianne, she, she wear. Oh, she does it a lot. Not, not purposely. Well, yeah. I sometimes you yes think you no. like it, and then you don't. So you take it back. Well, okay. we've got to kind of claim our innocence. We don't want to look back. Bought a gift from a discount store and put it in a different package to make it look expensive. I have. No, I'll buy something at a discount, and scrape off the discount badge uh, price and leave the real price on it so that they think that I spent more than I really did. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, have you ever? I don't wrap things. Well, you, you, gotta, you wrap them. He said never. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> you do the wrapping. I do. Have you ever gone skydiving? Never. Okay, that's a fast one. Okay. Davy has. Oh, uh, that doesn't well, He's out here. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Oh. How come you get to be all the reader? Go, go it's ahead. going faster. Yeah, it goes faster. Taking store-bought food to a party <laughs> as my side dish, <laughs> but passed it off as my own. I have. <laughs> so, wow, that's good. I know. I know. Thanks. Well, you don't have time to make it, and you have to bring something. So you hurry and hurry and buy it. I'm finding put out it, a lot put it about in your you own. That, that I never knew. Put it in a homemade dish, like you go buy cookies. You're not going to take them in the package. You put them on a dish from your house and it looks like you made them. Burnt a holiday dinner. Do you know that's why Papa O likes to eat burnt stuff? Because I burn stuff a lot. No you don't. I do, I burn stuff a lot. You can't burn water. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> yeah, I used to burn stuff a lot. I'm getting better at it. Jump from an airplane, whatever. Never. Okay, go ahead. You get. Oh, you want me to get the next yeah. one? Okay. Gone skiing. Never. I you ski, have. I skied for maybe uh, two or three seasons, maybe more. I went with you skiing once when Johnny was a baby, but I never actually went skiing. What are you doing with your used ones? No. Oh, I just put them back there. Okay. Okay, you've got to take one. Huh. I don't know that. Stuff my pockets with food from a buffet to take home with me. <laughs> you ever done that? Uh, um, I'll say, I'll say I have put it in my purse because uh, at a buffet you can't take it home, you know, because it's all you can eat. Have you ever done it? Well, I'll say never because I, I, I don't stuff my pockets. I might 
get two handfuls and then walk out. And walk out and see if anybody stops you. They you know, I've, I remember, I put them in my purse like I'll say, oh, I just can't waste it. Because if you leave it, they'll throw it away, you know. Or else, um, you know, so you don't want it wasted. My dad would always put the salt and peppers and ketchup packages in my mom's purse. Oh. He thought they were free. Okay, have you ever driven through an ice storm? We all have. Uh, in Utah, you I have, have. Everybody has. Oh, one time we came home from Julianne's house. It's a, it's a two-hour drive. It took us at least three or four hours to get home. It was so scary. We came behind a, traveled behind a semi-truck because it seemed safe. No, because we couldn't, there's couldn't no see, way to see where you are right. on the road or if you're in the middle or on the uh, side. So you scary. couldn't even see the road. And it was in a canyon. It was very scary. But the driver knew where it was. But okay. we don't really get ice storms here. We get snowstorms. Uh, same, same, oh, same, 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 same. Okay. Taking my used plate back to the buffet for more food. A lot. <laughs> I always get a clean one. Well, I feel like it's been spoiled. <laughs> uh, well, hold your sign up. Say, I have. <laughs> uh, once in a while. But I I don't make it. And there's deal. nothing wrong with that. You can take your uh, that means you cleaned your plate really well and you licked it. Okay. Nice and clean. Have you ever gone to a birthday party and not taken a gift? I have. What about you? I can't see your sign. You have, yeah. Yes, when well, I was six years old and then they you were a little fella. they told me I wasn't invited. And I didn't have a gift, but my, uh, my mom sent me, and they sent me home. And uh, they took I, the gift. No, I said I didn't have a gift. Oh, you didn't have a gift. I was glad. I didn't even want to go to it. For sad, and and I've not taken a gift before because I I wasn't invited, and so I thought, well, if I'm not invited, I don't have to take a gift. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> Or, you know, when you get adults, you say, oh, don't bring a gift, just bring yourself. And so you just bring yourself. And you wonder, do they really mean that or did they want a present and they're just being kind? Okay, this, is, this has to do with, uh, okay, have you ever lied about ha having an emergency to leave a bad date early? <laughs> what about Michael? I have. Have you? Uh... Is a lie the same as excuses? Same. Uh, did they? Yeah, same thing. No, I was with a guy once and he just wanted to make out. And I told him we were there for like five minutes at a drive-in. And he kept saying, let's get in the back seat. And I said, I don't even like him. I, I says, I can, I can see fine here. And I told him, my mom told me I have to be home by... I looked at the clock clock in his car and it was five to nine and I said my mom told me I have to be home by nine I said I, I, what can I do what can I say I, I have to be home and we'd been there five minutes so I have lied and he squealed out he was but mad he, oh he was mad yeah but I didn't care I, said, I did not want to get in the back seat okay have you ever cooked something in the microwave and forgot it was there I have what about you you're uh, always leaving stuff. No, well, no, but five, it, mi five minutes later you'll yeah. remember what you're doing mm -hmm. and say, oh. But there's no harm leaving something in a microwave. It shuts off. Yeah. In an oven, it'll keep cooking. So you got to hold your sign up. <laughs> you, have to, you, have, you can't just go like that. You have to hold it up so they can read it. I have. Okay, there you go. It's more like it. Okay. okay, now read the next one. Purposely given somebody the wrong phone number. That's a good one. I'm oh, let me think. I have. <laughs> I don't. Well, it's, it'd be a very strange situation for somebody to ask me for my phone number. That's true. See, these are kind of girl-boy questions, like. Like if the guy asks the girl out and wants to know her phone number, then she could. Then that's her choice. But when Papa O asked asked me out on a date, I thought he's making fun of me. Oh, I asked for your phone. And number. I did. Did I give you my phone number? Yes. But I didn't tell you my address. He says, "What's your address?" And I said, "I don't have one." And you, it took you a while oh, to she find had, me. She lived in the country, and they don't have house addresses. They, they do. They kind of do. I had an address. But. There's no street signs anywhere to know you're even on. But the I street. thought you were making fun right? of me. Yeah. There are no street signs. Anywhere. Yeah. So, but you found me and we got married. I guess you guys know that. 
You can tell because we're sitting here. <laughs> Faked an illness to stay home from work. <coughs> that like um, I never have because... You were too interested in I've always a been job. a stay-at-home mom. No, when you were working. And I worked for my sister, so I was there. Oh, the, I never, no, I never did. The what Bailey's, about you? What about Bailey? No, I never did fake okay, that's it. That's the question. But I know. Right. I said never. What about you? No, I, I want your sign up. I want it always. I think you have. I think you have. When? When you worked at uh, Unisys or Albertsons, you faked being sick. No, I didn't have to at Unisys because with uh, that kind of job where you're not paid hourly, you're on a salary, yeah. you can just tell your boss, I just tell my boss I have something i got to do this mm. afternoon and I'm leaving early. Okay. So Alright, next to. one. Okay. Stood in a line for hours to buy something at a discount. Whatever. I would never, ever do that. I have. See, that's more a boy-girl question because yeah. boys don't go shopping. I have. I stood in line at R.C. Willie once for an hour because the first 50 people get a free DVD player that goes in a car. And I wanted one really bad. And I got all the way up, and the person in front of me was the last one to get it, and I didn't get That's it. That's your punishment. I know, it's my punishment. I'll never stand in line for, again for a discount. Okay, have you ever I'll just pay full have price. Have you ever stood in line for hours to buy concert tickets? Never. No, never. Not worth it to me. Not worth it to me. Yeah, I'll say no. I've. I wouldn't care if it was President Trump and I had to wait now. Well, now to get you buy. I wouldn't them, do it. You buy them online, now, don't you? Tickets. Were this is back in the old. old days. These are old day questions. <laughs> They're not that oh, old. I just used someone else's toothbrush. <laughs> <sighs> I have. I. I think maybe when we were first we married, we maybe on this. When we were first married, we shared the same toothbrush, and I remember your your niece. She she could not believe we Who's were my using niece? a Janice. Oh. She said, "You guys use the same toothbrush." And we go, "Yeah, we kiss all the time. We're married." And she goes, "That's gross. You should not use the well, same toothbrush." Well, she's a nurse. She's, she's a nurse. About germs. And she says, "Can you imagine the germs?" And we kind of thought about it. We says, "We thought it was romantic to use the same toothbrush." Okay. That's <laughs> yeah, it is gross. I know. So we did. We did. Okay. I had forgotten about. You'd that. forgotten about that. Well, that was only forty years ago. Okay, we'll do. Oh, we'll do a couple more because we're already going over. Gotten so mad that I threw something through a wall. Ha, uh, nobody throws it through Never. A you got At a wall, maybe. Yeah, not through. Yeah, just throw, some, throw something through a wall. That'd be pretty hard. At a wall. We're going to change it and say at yeah. a wall. I never. Well, have I? Never. I what about remember. you? I think you have. I'm going to do you. I'm going to do you. When? I'm going to say you have. You threw Make it good. <laughs> a bowl of soup once because you didn't want to eat it. <laughs> How long were we married that, when I did that? Well, we lived here. It's probably 30 years ago. Okay, we're okay with <laughs> Okay, we're okay. <laughs> and I go, oh, look at you. Aren't you a big boy? Okay, anyway. Stolen flowers from a grave. <sighs> Oh my gosh, never. I would never do that. That's sacred. Yeah, if you do, it's a big curse. Okay, written a book. I have, and you have, yep. We've both written books, and those are posted below. I've written a, stay, a book for stay-at-home moms and some children's books. And you've done your life story. You've I've, got, how I've many books you got, 10 of them? Well, I, I do journals. From my grandmother, my oh, mother, my father. Journals meaning your diaries poems. that they kept for a long time. Yeah. And so. that they write poems and I publish those. I, I'm not going to say written. That's I will say published. Yeah. Look at well, my Well, written name. your life stories you've written. Well, your your bike trip and your... Yeah, I have. Okay. That's, did, you, that's... did you know that if you write a life story at 20... 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, How about every 20, every 20 years, it'll be completely different because you'll think of different things that were important to you that were not important before. That's right. That's what your grandmother said, huh? Yeah. She, she was, was in her 96. 90s. 
And I, I said, oh, Grandma, another life story. Some people are writers and some And But she, specific, she I bet you she had people ask her that because she started this out mm -hmm. explaining that you can write a different life story mm -hmm. every time you write And this is going to be one of my New Year's resolutions. I usually don't make them, but I've been working on my life story for my whole life. And I think... Well, you I haven't finished your life. Uh, well, I'm going to write it to this point. <laughs> I'm going to, I've started it and I'm going to make it, I'm going to tell you guys, because if you tell someone it's more apt to get done, say that I will finish it by this year. Oh, and I wanted to do a, no, but that a means, recipe book. That means too. the way that you made the promise, you can start on it December 31st and, okay. and just scribble some stuff. <laughs> just scribble some stuff. No, I want to complete my... My life story to this point. Well, tell them about and your And do my journal. recipe tell book. Tell about your journals. Well, my journals. Who wants to read those? You you want to put it in an interesting life life story form. Well, you so do that in your journal. Though. I will do. Well, it takes too long. You know, you have things to do, places to go. Let's go. That was a fun game. And that how we end our family home evening is, we have a prayer and then we go get a treat. So. Uh, we won't say the prayer on camera, but uh, we'll say our good nights, and we'll, we'll have to do this game again. That was fun. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I didn't and, think I would enjoy it. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun, and we'll think of some other games to do on our on our family home evenings, and we're gonna go have some ice cream. Now. I want burnt almond fudge. Tell me your favorites below. I'm going to and bed. I gotta be up at four in the morning. Okay. Do you want ice cream too? We can't discuss it when we're watching. Oh, yeah. Thanks, and good, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And that was a fun game. Thank you, and good night. It's good night. been so long since we've done the walls. Could you swing me and twirl me once more? Let's go left, right, left, right. as the music was on. Swaying in and out across the floor.